Good morning, Sandpoint High School. Please stand and remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Will Clark once again with Industry Insights and today we visited the wonderful Cascade Rescue in Sandpoint to learn all about the opportunities for welding and manufacturing and all that type of thing. So let's just get right into it. Cascade Rescue is a manufacturer of rescue equipment. We work with National Ski Patrol, Pro Ski Patrol, uh, Search and Rescue Units. Uh, National Park Service, fire departments. We manufacture rescue litters, which is a basket that's used for uh, helicopter rescue or for carrying patients out of the backcountry. We also manufacture the ski patrol toboggans that skier has used to bring people down the hill when they're injured. I actually started working at Cascade part-time uh, when I was a senior in high school. After I graduated high school, it kind of evolved into a full-time job throughout the summer. This year I've been here uh, 23 years, so certainly a a high school after school job that that turned into a career starting at the bottom doing manual labor worked my way through the business learning how to do everything in the shop environment uh, machining welding assembly up into management we have customer service people we have a quality control person we have somebody that does uh, solidworks drawings and drafts the, the parts and pieces we have welders um, we have a composite specialist that does all of our composite layup my responsibilities are making sure the product gets out um, within the quality that we need it, making sure the machining parts get made into the standard. I do pretty much all the design work in SolidWorks. Um, so anything like if a part needs updated, like a hole needs moved, or like a new product needs designed, that's pretty much my responsibility to build it. A lot of my experience for this job came from what I learned in school, like high school. I took four years of um, technical design and drawing in high school. That led up to me being able to do SolidWorks and like programs like AutoCAD. A lot of our positions, there is on-the-job training required because there's uh, we're kind of in a specialized market doing rescue equipment. There's not a lot of, a lot of companies that do that. My job here at Cascade Rescue is a fabrication lead. Um, I mainly take care of most of the welding inside the shop. It includes litters, it includes trail wheels, it includes um, most anything that we have that we sell that's, that has to do with metal. I was in the Marine Corps and they actually trained me to weld. So I have actually seven years of experience welding in the Marine Corps. Most of that was MIG welding, stick welding, but I never actually got certified to do it. After I got out of the military, I actually went to Hobart, which is over in Ohio. They specialize in training welding out there. So after about 10 months of schooling, I was able to um, obtain a few certificates in welding. Everybody that gets out of the military that serves more than, I think it's a year and a half, is eligible to use the GI Bill, so that way you don't have to worry about costs um, going, to, going to college. My best advice for kids coming out of high school, take your own initiative to, to learn. Um, you know, don't rely on other people to, to teach you. I think that always leads to success. Logs. Are you interested in running for Sandpoint Student Council? Perfect, because the first informational meeting is March 22nd in Mary's Room, SP1. All informational packets that you get from that meeting are due April 19th, and campaigning goes from April 19th to May 2nd. All campaigning must be school appropriate, and there is no glitter or stickers allowed. And then your video speeches are due May 1st, and election day for both SMS and SHS is May 2nd. We, we hope, hope to see you, you running! running.